capture. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace, whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. I don't really care. She, she he's walked straight through her. What? She's, she like some kind of ghost. I'm Herivard, the second, Prince of Is it prohibited to run in here? Or? Oh, I can talk to him. Oh, I have no clue what anyone is saying. I feel like a foreigner. Can I run, please? Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes. Okay. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants guild, but the church of the eternal fire. Oh no, not the, the not the eternal army. fight. At times Shut it is the difficult fuck. to tell the one from the other. Disturb. They I'll both disturb. display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft, in triplicate. A shame I have no time. Can I talk to him now? Okay, no. The eternal fire will be with you, friend. Stop it. That tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. So, there are agents now. Yeah, all grown up. No, let's go with our agents. Huh. So there are our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Amir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. So, where's Ciri been? What's the Wild Hunt want from Ciri? The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. What? I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. What's her gift? Oh, as teleporting. What the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. 
Beatrice Merigold. Apparently, she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure, she'll be delighted to Beatrice. see me. Fuck yeah, dude. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Um hell. Time to get going. Before we part, why didn't you contact me? I don't really care. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Garrett, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I think I'm gonna be a hero. I should Don't be try waiting. to kiss me, woman. You left me. Didn't she point like right here? Where is the ambassador? Ambassador Barra. Holy shit. What the hell is she doing? Jennifer suggested I ask you about current events. The war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, Certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. That a note of admira admiration I hear. What about Kovir? Let's just go with admiration. That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools, particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then. Emperor Amir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Why can I, man? What's the situation in Velen? Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, 
burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. I think I'm gonna befriend him. What's new in Novigrad? Any news from <laughs> Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather well on edge meaning how do men deal with fear they seek reassurance and scapegoats the church of the eternal fire understands this perfectly and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty who started the war who profits from it why it's obvious mages elves dwarves in a word any and all deviants I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's the latest from Skellige? Thingy What's new place? in Skellige? Skellige. Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other, pillage, occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank for you. your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Hopefully. I mean... Ah! It would be kind of awkward if the sun just didn't light my path. It's avoided me completely. Okay, retrieve your equipment. Thank you. How might I Finally. serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Did he just have them in his pocket or? Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Really, I don't remember. I can't recall. I saw you in this. Ooh, quest. Fuck yeah. Neil Guardian Nobleman. Mm. Mm. I don't want to play Gwent. I'm horrible at it. Mm. Let's let's play once. Betting amount five. Yes. What <coughs> mind a few rounds of cards? <laughs> Do you want to begin the Gwent tutorial? Yes! Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. You will go first. Choose a card to redraw. Zero out of two. To begin, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use these wisely. Um. Some unit cards have special abilities. This Cade Wynn Siege Expert special 
ability is called Moral Boost, which grants one strength to all units in the same row. Okay, yeah, this one. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll keep all the cards that I currently have, I believe. Weather cards are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of the given type on the battlefield, including your own. I didn't read what it said there, like what card against what. At the start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard or re redraw. But let's skip that for now and go straight to play. Here is the battlefield. This is your side. This is your opponent's side, thank you. During each turn, a player may place one card on the, play on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Press enter to select a card from your hand. Press enter again to place it on the battlefield. Your turn. These aren't timed, right? No, it seems to be unlimited time. So what do I have in, do I use anything or what's the value here for? Okay, so now I have one point. The number on the left by your icon shows the current total strength of your unit. Units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when the cards when a card is played. At the end of a round, the player with the highest total strength wins. Okay. During your turn, you can pass by holding down space. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win, with the unit you already have in play. Or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. A pawn sacrifice, my friend. A round ends once both players have passed. The player then compares the total strength of their unit to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded and both players total strength is reset to zero. Ooh. Morale. Let's go. What do you say? Can I read it still? I can't read it, okay. Does it, this matter, really? We're on the same side, Witcher. You'll realize this one day. Hmm. I'm gonna save all of these. That might be a stupid plan. But I'm gonna do it anyways. So this one... Sets the strength of all siege cards to one for both players. Okay, no. Sets the strength of all close combat cards to one for both players. That's not really beneficial for me. I'm definitely losing this. Your turn. Hmm. Um, God, I'm so screwed. Can I just use this? What? Destroyed it. Won't I lose all of my cards? It's been... Uh, uh, all the siege cards. Well, this one is already at one. What's this the one up for? Yeah, siege cards. Close combat. And I'm just gonna have to play these. Mm. 
now though, now it's very beneficial to use this. The strength of all close combat cards to one for both players. What? He's still ahead? He passed. Oh my god. How many cards does he have left? Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so done. Or am I? I'm just gonna win this one. To boost my ego. What did I do now? Do I press space? Hold space to pass. Yeah! The player who loses a round also loses a life gem. The game is over once a player has lost both life gems. I got a card. Northern Realm Faction. Okay. Didn't get to read it. What do you mean? Brown... Uh, what? That was extremely fast. What? <laughs> what just happened? Oh my fucking god. Please have a siege card. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. What, was, what is my superpower? Hmm. That is still not good. I mean, I've definitely lost this one, but I can't believe how stupid it is that it just passed before. Oh, let's just destroy everything. Apply! <coughs> God. Okay, defeated. There's no shame in passing or letting your opponent win a round. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards immune to the effect of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of battle. Acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing them for ven from vendors. I will win this. I'm committed at this point. Five gold coins. Gwent players use their own customized decks. Use this panel to manage your cards. You can build one deck for each of the four factions. Nilfgaard, Northern Realm, Monsters and Sociatel. Use one and two to switch between factions. Each faction remove each faction features a number of unique cards that encourage a different style of play. Each faction also ha has a faction perk. Nilf Guardian wins any round that ends in a draw. What? Grants an extra card after very victorious battle. Victorious round. The C decides who takes the first turn of a battle. Keeps a random unit card on the battlefield after each round. I'll, I'll pick the monster. Press enter to choose the highlighted leader card. Each leader has a unique ability. Use it to turn the tide of battle in your favor. I guess this is the only one that's unlocked, right? And now I'll pick these. Um, all the cards you own which can be used with this faction are shown here. I'm gonna try to destroy the front line, I believe. The deck must consist of at least 22 cards. It can also contain up to 10 special cards. You can include more than 22 cards, unit cards in your deck, but remember that doing so decreases the chance of drawing your most powerful card. Your deck is currently uh, two cards short, as indicated by the red number. What? Two cards short? I'm 22 cards short. 
You must move two unit cards from your... Okay, it's basically telling me what to do then. And let's get some rain down there. What do you mean start? No, don't start the game. Don't I have anything else? What? This is stupid. Why is using the basic cards then? Not enough unit cards. No shit. Total cards in deck two. Can I even make a deck yet? Like a proper deck. This music is so good. Change leaders. Add a card. Do I need to add more? Or? There you go. Okay, I mean, I guess. Okay, so I, it needs to be this one. You can now exit the deck builder by pressing escape. <laughs> when in the deck builder before a match, press space to begin playing. Or escape to quit and forfeit the match. Well, I'm playing. Trust me. I'm gonna win this. Yes, let's have all the... Actually, let's have all of the potato cards in the beginning. Then concede around so that... I'm gonna make him use a lot of good cards. Basically. Oh shit. Is there actually anything I can discard? Because... Okay, maybe not that many of these potato ones. Enter. What did I guess? Okay, I got a good one. Your turn! He will never see this coming. Ooh, already wasting your cards, I see. Ooh. Can these destroy... Sets a string or close... Oh, that close combat doesn't really matter now, does it? Oh, that, oh, they're actually close. I didn't even realize. Hmm. I want to make him waste another card, but I don't want to use anything. Huh. What does this do? Sets the strength of all ranged combat cards to one. <sighs> I'm gonna skip. I mean, pass. Let's hope he used some good cards and only have trash cards left. Okay! That is not a trash card, but I can I can decrease that to one, which is really good. What does this do? That's a morale, I think. What is this? Place your opponent's place on your opponent's battlefield. Counts towards opponent's total and draw two cards from your deck. Oh, so oh yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Actually, no, it's um, I thought it was in the this one, this tab, the ranged one. I'm not going to put it in the close combat. Crazy, you lunatic. You know what, actually? I could probably... Yeah, this could be a thing. Now I have more cards. He passed? <laughs> Idiot. That's a close combat one. Uh, all ranged. There you go. Mm, this might be stupid of me. I 
Wait, do I have to use two of these now? Don't tell me that I have to. <coughs> no, I could. I can just use this one. Set all the close combat. And then I'll use one of these. I'll use this one. Wait a second. No, not that one! I regret my action! I was gonna use one of these. <sighs> really? I'm so fucking stupid. I literally wasted more cards. Oh my god, I'm so fucked. See through my plan. Adds one plus to all units in a row. Okay. Ooh, what? Oh my god. That's really cool. Okay. Why does he have a lot of 10 points thingies? Can I trick him into just giving me this one? Uh, the strength of all the siege com- I can't do that. All of my stuff consists of siege stuff. Actually, I could do this and then... Does this one clear it? Removes all weather cards. Fighting for us. Yeah. So I could do this. Hope he passes. Because he thinks he's winning. Come on, pass. Potato. Come on. What's my card? What's my power? Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Come on, pass. I don't think I can win that anyways. Yeah, I'm fucked. Oh, I've definitely lost this one. This one. Holy shit, 31 points! Are you insane? 40 points?! This guy is a madman! I concede. A from the tank. Yeah, don't mock me, I'm a witcher. I'll knock you out and steal your cards if I have to. To switch to the convenient view. I mean, con continent view. Press, okay. Hmm. To return to the map. Okay, I just press it again. To open the map and... Give an area, move the cars over that region and <coughs> left click. Okay, I did not mean to press again. That's fine. Wait, where am I traveling? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest.
I was gonna say this place is beautiful. But... Okay, let's save. Oh, okay, sorry. Guess we'll have to go down here first. Faster. Ow! Son! Sorry. Come on now. <laughs> Let's get all the contracts here. I'm not gonna read all these. Ooh, missing wife. Good people, take pity and hear my plea. My wife Hannah, she's missing. A few days ago, she went into the woods and hasn't yet returned. I'm near out of my wits with worry and will pay any price for the man who brings her back to me. Or at least tells me where to look for her. Nail... Nail... Nailen? Hunter from Black Ball. Okay, I'm gonna save and play another time. See you.